Let me show you how to build pony walls in the crawl space. It starts with a solid connection to the strip footing. What you are looking at is a 33 foot two by six. You can't get that out of a tree. That's right. This is PWT treated LVL. No wanes, it's dead straight, it's lightweight compared to pressure treated, a 25 year warranty, it's treated from the inside out, and guess what? I don't have to use any special galvanizing on the hardware or nails. Initially, I'm fastening it to the concrete perfectly parallel to the other walls with the Max HN120 high pressure concrete nailer. It is designed to pin wood to concrete or steel. Once I've done my layout, then I'm gonna add my Titan HDs. I don't want any of these bearing plates to land where my studs are. Stud attachment to the bottom plate is going to be toenails, but now you need to be deliberate when you toenail. I'm putting two on one side, one on the other. Oh, and we're using up all of our formwork for these studs, by the way. For framing, I'm using the Max HN90F high pressure coil framing nailer. This just saves us a whole lot of time when it comes to reloading. As a right or correct handed person, I use the nailer left handed so that I can hold the hammer in my right hand. With my hammer, I can keep my hands well away from accidentally shooting myself, which I have done many times over the years, but I don't do that anymore. Pro tip, select nice quality material for your top plates. It'll make your life a lot easier. Summertime framing can be murder on Doug fur, which is why I'm also wailing on that top plate as I go. I don't want gaps between the stud and the top plates. What is that white material under the PWT treated LVL mud sill? Well, that's our vapor retarder. We run it along the strip footings. Once we're completely done with pony walls, then we're gonna run all of that vapor retarder, tape the seams before we frame the floor. Now, when it comes time for your double top plates, you wanna work it. It just makes your life a lot easier. So with my left hand farther out, I can still move that back and forth so that I get a nice flush edge on the inside. So don't just nail each stud as you go, but give yourself a little bit of room so that you can push that thing. It just makes life a little bit easier. And now you are a certified master pony wall framer.